Okay, the next type of energy we're going to look at is kinetic energy, which is just another name for movement energy. We sometimes shorten that to Ke, or E with subscript K for kinetic energy. Um, once again, the key thing to remember here is that the mass in this equation always has to be in kilograms. Now, the squared in this equation makes it interesting because it means if I double the velocity, the kinetic energy doesn't double, it actually does increase by two squared, which is four times. So if the car is traveling twice as fast, it actually has four times as much energy. Let's look at an example then. So a ball of mass, 500 grams, is kicked at a speed. So that's our velocity when we're dealing with um, kinetic energy. And we're asked what will be its kinetic energy. First thing I need to do is divide by 1,000 to convert my mass into kilograms. I then do writing my equation, put in my values, and giving 0.25 times 100, which is just the kinetic energy. Once again, measuring joules of 25. Okay, let's look at a second example. Um, kinetic energy is always trickier when you're trying to work out the velocity. It's some of the hardest maths you'll actually have to do on GCSE physics. So it says a ball of mass for kilograms, don't need to do anything with that, it's already in kilograms, has a kinetic energy of 128 joules. What is its velocity? Write your equation. Put in the values that you know, so our kinetic energy is 128, is equal to half times 4 times v squared, half times 4 is just 2, divide both sides by 2, gives us that v squared is 64, takes square roots of both sides, will leave us with v on that side, and the square root of 64 is just 8, and it's a velocity, so it's meters per second.